just by building projects i don't even have a count like how many projects i built in that period how did they reach out how did they know you built this project how did they know about you interview was pretty chill like unhone kuch zyada poocha nahi jisne mere ko refer kiya tha wo mere ko twitter ke through mere ko kafi time se mere ko follow karta tha wo ek mere ko acche se janta tha proposal and i submitted their proposal to someone from the adobe team and he approved that proposal and i again got a 3000 dollar grant from adobe like he liked my one of my project that i submitted for the canva hackathon and he said to me can you build this project for us like for adobe express august to january I just build projects All right hello everyone welcome to a new pod today we have Fardeen Fardeen recently got a full time offer and he also got a $6000 grant from Adobe uh, he is currently in his third year which is great because uh, even I did not have a job in my third year and I think having a job in your college is sort of becoming the norm now I think engineers are fairly uh, skilled these days so it doesn't really matter if you're pre college in college or later you can crack a full time job uh, just like he did we'll understand his journey specifically i think the interesting thing was i've never heard of, of how do you get a grant from adobe so i'd be interested to know about that um, and how did he crack the full time offer how did he learn things and specifically the interview process of getting into this company with that fardeen uh, would love an introduction hi everyone i am fardeen and i am 19 year old currently i am in my third year and i am doing bca from a city college like like ta69 and in my first year the only thing i did is mathematics like there was an dude iit delhi dude who used to teach me math like he was like mad man he his room is full of like books of all the types i learned a lot from him but my f- uh, first year uh, was wasted like just learning math and stuffs in my starting of my second year i started with dsa like i did dsa around, seriously around 3 4 months and after that i started to losing my interest in dsa uh, then i f- started with like money stack basic money stack and i did like html css js node js etc i got a teaching assistant internship in a company like you don't uh, want to hear that company name apna college <laughs> yeah but yeah is are over there no pure course ke what was the compensation there uh 50 for four months for four months yeah okay continue so i did that internship for four months one thing i re- realized in that internship like the crowd there is absolutely sick like they don't want to learn from themselves they don't have that fire inside so a very bad experience uh, so after that i seriously started coding after the after buying the cohort 3 around in august 24 so after buying cohort the only thing i did is build more uh, more and more projects i like i learned everything like nextjs prisma typescript and everything just by building projects i, I don't even have a count like how many projects i built in that period from august to january i just build projects and around november in the, in the middle of 25 and 24 someone from the adobe like a senior engineer from adobe reached out to me in dms like he like he liked my one of my project that i submitted for the canva hackathon and he said to me like uh, can you build this project for us like for adobe express and we can fund you i i said why not i can build that so he offered me a 3000 dollar grant for building that textify add on fair after that around january i started freelance like i did from january to around may i just did freelance uh, in that period i learned nothing like i build nothing i learned nothing my time management is up absolutely and then in after i decide to leave freelance do some uh, some meaningful things like don't chase money and chase mastery so after freelance i got chill Uh, once one day i was using adobe express so i found an another gap so i built a proposal and i submitted their proposal to someone from the adobe adobe team and he approved that proposal and i again got a 3000 dollar grant from adobe so it was around like may june may june of last year or this year this year this year okay so last yeah. month only okay is there like an official process to apply for a grant from adobe there was a pro- process but i never Uh, going through that process i just got i got just got dm from from them right i would assume that's not very replicable right that happened for you because you did something in canva how did they reach out how did they know you've built this project how did they know about you like uh, i submitted that 
Canva project in dev post and I I have built a very very good demo uh, demo video of that okay uh, that app so I mm -hmm. think they like that video and the idea so they reach out me through the LinkedIn oh, but how did the video reach them I think the Canva and Adobe Express like competitor of each other so I think they were uh, just discovering the submission of that hackathon like what people build got I, it okay makes sense so I mean, Adobe Express is like a Canva competitor yeah you submitted a project on Canva. It probably had a showcase. Adobe employees were going over there, figuring out what are the best projects and giving out grants to people who. That makes sense. Yeah. Continue. Uh, so, after that grant, like I never applied to any job till now to any platform, anything. Uh, one day I got a DM from someone, okay. and he said to me, like, "Are you looking for full stack, like full time roles?" And I said, uh, "Why not?" So he referred. He sent me an assignment. And I did assignment pretty well. Then the founder of uh, the company where I am currently employed like their assignment and they scheduled an in interview like one day on in one day only. Interview went well. Then I told with founder they like me and they offer they they give me offer of like like fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Okay. It is mostly front end focus role. Okay. Uh, fund. They have many pro uh, products. Like, उनके पास काफी सारे product आते हैं, काफी सारे clients के. Uh, I need to maintain them, uh, ship them, uh, fix their bugs. Some. It was the role. That was all about me. Got it. एक बार interview process बताओगे भाई या it was just a conversation and you got in? Uh, interview was pretty chill. Like उन्होंने कुछ ज़्यादा पूछा नहीं क्योंकि जो जिसने मेरे को refer किया था, वो मेरे को Twitter के थ्रू मेरे को काफी टाइम से मेरे को फॉलो करता था वो लाइक मेरे को अच्छे से जानता था लाइक आई यूज टू शेयर माय प्रूफ ऑफ वर्क माय लर्निंग्स एंड इंटरव्यू वाज वेरी कैजुअल टॉक लाइक सम बेसिक रिएक्ट क्वेश्चंस सम बेसिक डेवलप्स क्वेश्चंस जस्ट लाइक आई हैव बिल्ड मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स दे नीड्स दे नीड समवन हु कैन बिल्ड प्रोजेक्ट प्रोडक्ट्स एंड शिप देम फास्टर सो आई थिंक आई वाज द ग्रेट फुट फिट फॉर देम व्हाट्स द टेक स्टैक टेक स्टैक इज मोस्टली नेक्स्ट जेस eventually is like a concert like they pick up a bunch of projects and you work on them uh, they currently have three projects like i am working on two right now so i am uh, they are already built so i am just fixing their front end bugs and some back end bugs the work the work uh, environment is pretty chill for now like uh, they have a great team like great developers so i am enjoying Got till it. now Is it like this is, is this is a full time job? But like, does the offer change once you graduate? Do you what are your plans for the next two years? Like, I believe college still this is fine, but like it's probably not enough money once you graduate. So, so what are your thoughts for the next two years? So, I am planning that I can easily get a referral from Adobe. Like, mm -hmm. I have contact from their head of operations, so he can give me a referral. So, I am thinking for two months if I grant DSA enough. so i can crack the adobe interview and i can join adobe and go from there or in another option i have that i can go for masters abroad and go from there i have two options right now got it either a masters or adobe no third option you're not thinking something else you don't want to try another job or something like that uh, like okay. seriously i don't like to do jobs like <laughs> that makes sense that's That's a fair point. I don't think anyone does, but ha, uh, okay. Cool man. I think that was super insightful. Uh, yeah. And anything else to add? I think your journey has been fairly chill. Uh, you got a referral. You, hmm. uh, you know, you got. A, we found a great path to a grant. Um, hmm. Are you generally anxious about jobs? Were you anxious about jobs, or were you just chilling and you know everything is else was an outcome? I was hard working with chilling. Like I am doing both. <laughs> okay, and that's a perfect combination. Um, Yeah, um, like I do everything. I play cricket, I read books, I work on everything. Like I use Twitter a lot. Like there is no burden on me. Like my parents uh, supported me very well. Like there is no uh, financial problem for me. So job, they never said me yeah, like you do job, like anything. I am doing just for the experience. Like how the experience of job. All right, makes sense. Well, we'll see how well you play cricket when you come to Super Thirty. We'll have matches on Sunday, so. I have played professional cricket for three years. What? You played professional cricket? Yeah. Crazy bro. Uh, I, I played for a quota district team. Like I was, I just want to give like under sixty trial. 
okay. but like the lockdown hit and after that i never played cricket rather like pro- professional cricket you still think i mean just off topic question do you still think like you want to go in that direction yeah we nahi ho gaya not professionally uh, i still want to go brother okay well but i think it's it's t- little too late now too late now well you never know um yeah let's see your skills when you come to the campus i'm excited yeah. i don't play cricket at all i'm actually really bad at it uh but i'm sure a lot of, like it's like a favorite sport for in india i don't know why but there's a basically I, there's a college there's a cricket stadium right next to our uh, college so. yeah that's great i'm a uh, i'm a fast bowler by the way like medium okay, fast okay. medium pacer i know who not to face when i am batting so <laughs> all right cool man it was so nice talking to you uh, excited to meet you i think we start mid of august so so i'll see you on campus then yeah uh, like super city started in august or july so july onwards you can come 20th july onwards people are coming but officially it will start uh, mid of august so 15th august is okay but you can come and stay if you want uh, just send me a hi on whatsapp so i remember the conversation that we had uh, i'll just summarize it and then we can go from there I expect that pod- podcast i have one question for yeah, regarding yeah, regarding career yeah. like just i said like jaise maine bola ki i have two options like either join adobe or go for masters so which one do you think will be best for me like there is no i need don't need to take any loan or anything so i think it depends on the university versus the role um, so in adobe you can get a research role um, mm. a research role in adobe is equivalent to a masters from nyu maybe um, so if you mm. get an nyu versus a uh, adobe research india internship uh, i think the good thing is since you have so much freedom you can actually talk to them and you know understand kaun si team hai whether or not you like that research honestly it probably take an internship at adobe research if you can um, yeah in the summer you will know if you like it or not um, and if you like it great um, if you don't like it masters always an option uh, mm. but there are like a lot of factors that come into masters right like just don't i don't think you should just go for a masters uh, in like you know i don't know a korant or a tamu or a uh, what, what is that stony brook uh, i mm. think take two years but get go into a good university if you are uh, yeah so which also means you know maintain a cgpa start doing research start writing papers uh, yeah. it's a great path honestly you know very very good uh, if you can do that if you have time um, mm. uh, if you don't have any pressure right now to immediately get a job i would maybe do adobe research for a year or a microsoft research for a year and then go for a masters okay so i wouldn't do adobe right. product though yeah okay uh, okay so thank you so much for first of all uh, giving me this opportunity and the advice and the the community you give to all of us also like super hundred x community is like crazy i also experienced that another company community and your community like there is like zameen asman ka antar hai dono mein i think you just chose the wrong community on the other side uh, <laughs> but yeah i appreciate it cool man kab socha are you thinking july or are you thinking august i can join in july like either july or starting of august sounds good i think that sounds fine cool man excited to see you okay all right okay okay bye 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 bye